Hello, my name is Gerb Snail, and today we're on my desktop because it is finally time for the new charm tutorial. That's right, so let's get right into it. So, pulling it up the link. So, first link you want to go is to download.net 7.0. Um, if you don't have it already installed, it's needed to run charm. And the next thing, we're going to go into charm here, click on the releases here, and that's not the correct releases. Okay, that's strange behavior. Okay, so we're on pre-release 5. Um, it's still earlier development for this new release, but honestly it works fine now and everything's fine enough to start a tutorial. So, um, I went ahead and downloaded it already and obviously I have .NET installed as well, so let's get into it. So, oh yeah, the last thing, if you're going to be working in Blender, which I personally recommend, you're going to want to go here and download Delta's Blender import add-on. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import certain things to Blender, because that's what I know and that's what I use. So, yeah. Alright, so to get started, we hit the charm.exe button here, and we're starting off. So, the current supported versions are um, the latest. We have Witch Queen, I believe this is the one right before Lightfall. Um, this would be Season of Arrivals, and then I believe this one is the first version of Shadowkeep? I'm not entirely sure. Um, right now, Unblock is adding support as well to um, doing Beyond Light, so if you want to get Presage and stuff, you can't do that yet, but that is coming soon. So, for the tutorial today, I'm going to just click Destiny 2 Latest. We're going to go to My Destiny Packages. Um, you can find that by going to Steam, Browse Local Contents, and the Packages folder. This is what you want to give Charm for your Packages path. So, we're going to do that. It's going to initialize for a little bit. Alright, so first off, clicking Destiny 2 Latest. Um, I highly suggest you do PNG. Everything else is a little kind of weird. Um... I do want to use a single folder for extraction, but I do not want to export uh, at, like individual meshes. So export save path. Um, I already I, I always use this folder, so I'm just going to do that. But that's just wherever you want to save. Things to note: um, if you have sandbox, there is support for source two and Unreal Engine as well. If you want to do that, you can. All right, so let's get started. Um, I know uh, a lot of you are here just for the exporting of maps, so let's get that out of the way first. So, what's a good map? Um, oh yeah, I'm going to make a lot of the PvP people out there. I'm going to make you very sad. So, Crucible Slag, which is Legion's Gulch. This is, like I said, this is the main game. And for whatever reason, Legion's Gulch is in the game, in Lightfall. They gave, they actually brought it back during Lightfall, but, you know, for whatever reason, you just can't play it, so. Alright, in this menu, first off, you have the map. Um, if there was any dialogue in the scene, you would see it here. Um, same thing with directive and music, but because I did ambient. Um, hang on, let's, let's change that to Crucible. Um, so now we have some Crucible style music here. This will probably just be like, let's see what it is. Neat. <laughs> All right, very cool. That That's enough of, stop that. Hello, okay. Charm's buggy. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and select all. Um, by the way, you can also view um, individual sections of maps. So as you can see here, um, yeah, there's Legion's Gulch, all right. So yeah, all right. Let's. Um, it can sometimes take a little while. And, as you can see here in the top left, we actually got a crash, I think. Yep. 
It's probably going to crash here in a second. Or maybe. Yep, there we go. Um, that's one thing you're going to deal with um, a lot is uh, random crashes and stuff, but it works. Um, I'm also going to try ambient because in the past, Charm has just liked ambient places a little bit more than the like actual proper directives. So here we go. All right. Activity map exported. Let's open up Blender. So, um, when you're using Blender, uh, you're going to need Delta's add-on. So the way you do that, edit preferences and in add-ons, hit install and then find where it's downloaded. Um, you keep it in the exe itself and so that's what it would be right there um, but obviously I already have the zip installed so I can keep that so once you have that just want to do destiny 2 map importer go to your app folder here we go outputs and look at all that um, for right now um, if you're watching this right as it comes out, dynamics aren't properly um, supported yet. They're coming soon. So um, don't select the dynamics because the importer will just freak out and have a bad time. I'm actually going to do these once at a time because um, Blender maps take a while to import. So I'm just doing the smaller ones um, just to show you uh, if I turn up my view. There we go. We have our map being imported and, you know, lots of terrain, lots of things. There's your big cabal land tank. And, uh, yeah. Um, one problem right now that you're going to run into sometimes is that the normals are messed up by default. And the way that you fix that is that you hit A to select everything, right click, and then hit Shade Smooth. And that will fix all the normals for now. Um, that's a problem that I think has already been fixed in some capacity, but they just haven't released it yet. I don't know. Lots of changes happening right now. We'll get to that later. So I'm going to close this for now. We don't need Blender anymore. And um, if you were just there for how to import a, import a map, you're done. But for the rest of us, let's keep going. So let's click on the API button. If you've ever used um, Dare before, this is basically Charm, but Dare, Dare Charm. So it's going to take a while to open up. But it is also loading every single item in the API. I swear, did it just crash again? Yeah, it did. It did. Okay, cool. You know, in my test run of this video, uh, I didn't get any crashes. It's not until... Uh, the old shadow play is working when everything starts to break. Come on, you can do this. But, I mean, that just goes to show. Um, it's not broken forever. It's just... Um, Charm's just weird. So, here you go. Uh, I don't know why this selection of things were chosen as the main page but let's say I don't know let's look for the men and in this thing right here favorite scout rifle from vanilla but you can just export queue if you had multiple things in your queue it'll export them all for you but once you're done you go back to your outputs and here you go there's your men and in um I guess actually let's just keep blender open this time so I'm not going to go through the entire process of how to shade a weapon and how to do that, but I will show you. Once again, you use your import the config, go to your output folder, and output the config. And there you go, you have your scout rifle. Um, so very quickly though, um, if you're familiar with how the shaders work and such um, with weapons, uh, this is your shader script. You open that up, you hit run, and then in your shading tab, go here, open up this little menu here, D2 shader, add, 
and there is your man and in um weapon shooter so there you go fun stuff but we don't need that i'm gonna close it out again so next up let's close this tab by the way i'm closing tabs just by middle clicking on them um all right so global bag tag this is um lots of everything basically so this is um entities and things so i just clicked on the uh, terraformed pyramid which is the what's it called the um the new raid but as you can see if you want to find a specific en enemy or something i go here first so I knew um, Raid Tormentor boss, obviously, would be Nezarek. And then here's the Explicator with a skateboard. I don't know. Anyways, um, so there's that tab. You can find lots of things there. So if you're looking for an entity, I suggest going there first. But if you can't find what you're looking for, go down to the List tab, which has lots more things to go through. Um, I think this is done by package, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, let's hit loads. Once again, it takes a long while to load all the entities. A really long time to load all the entities. Come on. Come on, charm. Don't crash on me now. <laughs> all right. So it has lots and lots of things. Um, one of the things that I do... By the way, if you're familiar with um, Phonon, you know this menu very well. It's basically the same Dynamics tab. But um, what I do generally when a new like season comes out with, uh, with a new raid or dungeon, I go into a Dynamics tab. I mean, I used to do it with Phonon, but this should work now, basically forever, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I usually go into the Raids tab and start looking at stuff trying to figure out what the raid's all about just by looking at the dynamics. Um, I mean, some of it's just kind of useless, um, but, like, you know, you got the Aegis and random chests and things. But, yeah, lots of goodies you can find in here, and, you know, you could spend hours just exploring the dynamics tab, looking at random stuff. But we got to keep going. So the statics tab... Very similar to the Dynamics tab, um, you have basically every, I think this is just all of the packages in the world. And then you can click on one and then look at the entities, or the statics. And, hey wow, random brackets and forklift. Wow, so exciting. <laughs> I don't use the statics tab. Anyways, um, onto the audio. If you want um, weapon audio of any form, this is where you want to go. Um, all right, reads regret, why not? So, you can listen to random sounds and stuff. No way, it's weapon sounds. Um, so if you ever, if you ever, for whatever reason, wanted, like, a weapon firing sound or reload sound or something, that's where you go. Much better than just trying to, like, record in-game audio or something. But, if you want other sounds that are just sound effects, um, this is, once again, by package. Um, if you want dialogue sounds that are not organized for whatever reason, you can do so. And here. Scorn and light? Now this we're investigating. Wacky. Anyways, um, onto the strings. Um, once again, similar format, but you can look at s strings. Neat. Um, take balloon? What? <laughs> Uh, textures, um, very self-explanatory once again, based on, um, I think this is technically based on packages again, or activities, I can't remember anymore. Oh, there's so many things. Um, this also takes a little while to load, but, um, you want city tower textures? There you go. Um, if you want, um, if you want cube maps... Uh, great, I clicked on the only one that's default. Okay. If you want cube maps, you can find them in here. I think I saw some... Was it in, was it in one of the Black Armory ones? 
Or Black Garden? Yeah. So if you want to look at cube maps, um, these are here in the textures. So yeah. One last thing I wanted to find or show you. Well, oh, of course, more crashes. Wonderful. You can always tell when Charm is in the middle of crashing when it just gives you this giant block of text over here. And in fact, I'm just gonna get ahead of it and try to close it. Although it is in the act. Okay, there it goes. So back in maps and activities, another thing that you can do, uh, and this is something that I did actually with the broken version of Charm at the very beginning. If we go to um, Veil Lore, the mission, um, you can actually find all of the dialogue for an area. Um, so you can have all of the Veil Lore. So that's how I was able to find out sort of about, you know, the witness and stuff really early at the beginning of the season. Um, as well in the directive, of course, there's nothing there still. And then, oh yeah, that's the other thing that you can do. Hang on. Uh, let's go to the raid. So in the directive, here you go. Here's your um, directives early. Um, if Charm works in a week with the new season, you will find out what the raid is immediately, if they don't tell us. Um, as well, you can get the music early. And not only do you have every single whim, which is like the individual music file, so let's hear what this one is. Oh yeah, I can't use the... There we go. Mont needs to fix that, I don't want to, that's a weird, okay. But then you can also look at the events. Um, and for whatever reason, these are way more, um, these are way more descriptive than they probably should be. Um, so like, for example, before the raid came out, um, I was able to find the mechanics of this raid. Like, I already knew what it was, especially like, um, player gets hop on from correct alignment of planets. Like... Planets aligned to smash them into each other. You know, it's like... I don't know. I've got a whole rant about how... Um, how the... Uh, oh, yeah, also, like, MC Escher Traversal uh, lead them to overflow. Like, this should not be as descriptive as, as it is. And I've got a whole rant on that. But you can also click on any of these to listen to um, to the music, so... Or not. Okay, never mind. You just get to look at it peacefully. I feel like in the past you were able to click on it, but like I said, Charm's kind of broken. So, anyways, um, that's it. Have fun doing Charm. Uh, if you have if you have questions or concerns or something, um, I guess spam my DMs or something. I don't really care. You guys already do anyways with this stuff. Um, as well, I will have a pinned comment in this video if Charm ever goes down again. Um, that way you don't try to, uh, you don't try to, like, um, use the tool repeatedly thinking that there's something wrong in your end if it's actually just broken. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching, and pretend there's a cool outro.